processes in PixInsight can be very compute intensive. A great example of this might be anything that deals with image structure, sharpening or noise reduction as examples. Running processes such as this on a full image can take several minutes depending on your computer. If you need to experiment a bit to figure out the best parameters for an operation, this iteration can take some time. In PixInsight, previews are designed to address just this issue. Previews are rectangular regions of an image that can be used to test processes you want to use before committing to processing the entire image. Being smaller, the compute time is much shorter when previews are used. You can have as many previews on an image as you want. The only real limitation is that a preview must fit into the bounds of the master image. Because of this, we can identify several sections of an image that we might want to test. For example, if we're trying to evaluate a particular process, we might choose one preview around the background sky, another around the highlights, and perhaps something else around some of the midtones where most of the detail might be seen. This allows you to select subregions that are small, yet be able to represent different areas of the image as you're evaluating the parameters you want to use with a process. This hydrogen alpha image came from a shot I did on IC1805, the heart of the heart. In this particular image, I have three previews already defined. They're designated by boxes with a default naming scheme that's on each box. And I've chosen these previews to take some strategic areas of the image and give view to them. I have the heart of the heart. I have some background sky with some high intensity uh, areas as well, and some mid-tone regions. And as you can see on the side of the image here, you can see the tab with the identifier for the main image and in that main image, we're seeing where the previews are. Then there's a tab for each preview. And to select the preview I want to be focusing on, I can choose any of these tabs. You can create a new preview by simply dragging across the image. This is done by selecting the New Preview menu button. And then you can drag the preview you'd like to add. There's another way to create a preview that can be much more precise. If you go to the Preview menu, you can select New Preview. This brings up a dialog box that allows you to create a name for this preview. You can create what the upper left corner where it will be located. And the size of the preview in pixels. And that will create your preview where you have it defined. Once created, a preview can be moved and adjusted in size. This can be done by mouse by simply selecting the Adjust Preview icon, which time you can now drag the preview. You can take any side, select it, and pull it down. You can even grab a corner and stretch it out. Now the preview has a new position and a new size. Another way to do that is to go to the Preview menu and choose Modify Preview. Now you have the dialog box coming up where you can go in and you can change the numbers directly. If I want to modify a preview, I can go to its Identifier tab and right-click. At this point, I can modify it, I can clone it, I can make an image, I can take that portion of the image and turn it into its own image, or I could even delete it. In the Modify, it brings up the familiar dialog box where I can rename it or change some of the various uh, parameters that are associated with it. If I want to delete that, I can just come down here and it's gone. You also have some options, the same options, pretty much available to you on the Preview menu. There are also a series of options that are available in the Icon menu at the top of the page. If you look in this section, here I can create a new preview, I can modify the preview, I can clone a preview, I can make an image from the preview, I can navigate previews with this arrow by moving up and down the identifier tab. I can undo a preview and I can delete a preview. So let's start using these previews. What I'm going to do here is take the previews that I have defined already and I'm going to use the RC Astro Noise Exterminator. I'd like to do a little bit of noise reduction on this. And I'm not exactly sure how aggressive I want to be, but I'm going to start at the, at the default, which is 
using a denoise parameter 0.9. And let's see what that does with things. I'm going to pick my first preview. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so I can see the detail. Now I'm going to drag and apply this. It doesn't take an awful lot of time, and now I have a new version of the image. Now, it looks smoother, but how much smoother did it really become? Well, there's a quick way to find that out. I can go back and compare it to the way it was by simply hitting the characters Command-Shift-Z, and I can go back and forth by hitting that sequence. And as I do that, I can see that I've taken quite a bit of my noise down, and it's not looking too bad. Now, if I wanted to try a different value, let's say I came down and wanted to try uh, 45. I don't have to do anything special here. I can drag this again because every time I do a new operation, it's going to go back to the raw image, take the data, and apply that. So now I have a new parameter that I can look at here. And again, I'm going to use the Control shift z and I'll go back and forth. Now, in this case, I can see that the, the uh, correction that I've made here is much more subtle, much more subtle than what I had before. But I'm going to try one more run. I'm going to try a very light level. I'm going to do a 10 on this and try that. And at this point, I don't really see much of a difference between the two images. Now, by doing this very simple sequence, I pretty much decided that I was getting some operation that looked pretty good around 45. 90 wasn't looking too bad. I don't like to go too far, so I'll probably pick something right around there, say 65, let's say, or close to 65 anyways. We'll drag that in. I kind of like that. It smooths things out, but it doesn't take too much noise out. So we found something that looks pretty good on this preview. Let's take another look at a different preview. We'll go down here. This is a little bit brighter area, and we'll try applying the same settings. All right, we're going to use Command-Shift-Z to go between the version we have now and undoing it. This looks pretty good. It's taken uh, a little bit of the noise out, and it's still looking pretty natural. Let's try another one. Again, I, I, I like the look of this. So this is taking the noise down, but it's not taking it too far, making it too smooth. So I think I have my answer. I can now go back to the main image, and now I can drag and apply this to the entire image. This will take a little bit longer, but anytime you're using a process which takes some time to execute and you need to optimize the parameter, previews are a convenient way to sample portions of the image, quickly test out different parameters, find out what seems to work best, and then apply that to the entire image.